Hey guys, so we're going to look at syncing inventory with a supplier today in Shopify specifically. So don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channel, like the video, tell your friends, etc, etc. Okay, let's get on to the actual video and look at our sample site. So our sample site, as always, is our just green beans um, sample coffee site. Our uh, site sells green beans, but we're going to look at our gift items today, uh, particularly our mugs. Okay, so we've got these products on our website. Um, we want them to be shipped by a drop shipper. And these products actually do come from a drop shipper. So I just want to show you that. So this is, uh, we're using drop shipping by Global Crafts as our example. And um, once you're logged in, you can download their product files. Let me log in here quickly. Okay. So once we're logged in, we can look at their uh, products. And if I do a mug, for example, we should get quite a few mugs here. You can see the pricing. And once you're logged in, you can actually add them to your cart and purchase them with your dropshipper's shipping address and your billing address, et cetera, et cetera. Just like dropshipping always works. One of the things that they're pretty good at here is they provide us with some files. So we can upload, we can get the entire product files from here. And they also have um, inventory files now. They ask us to use StockSync. And if I go to their help system under support, I can find out where that file is kept. Um, so let me have a look. Let me, uh, setting up StockSync, this is the one that's gonna tell me where the file is. So this is the link. And if I grab this file link here, let me just grab it, just to show you if I copy it and I put it into my browser. I can see the way, just in a second, it's gonna load up a complete uh, inventory of, you know, three or 4,000 line items. It's actually just downloaded, it's gone straight to a download. But let's open that file up as a download. This is not it, here we go. So you can see they've got various columns in here. They've got the SKU code, the quantity, the price, the compare at price, and uh, this is what their MSRP would basically be, their map pricing, and they've got the product handle that they suggest. We just need the quantity and the SKU for our, in our case, so column A and column B is what we're going to be working with. This data is maintained and held on effectively on their server. It's actually not, it's actually pulled just by, as a by the way, because they've got stock sync installed at their end, it's actually pulled in real time whenever you try and load that uh, url up it's um it's so it's with the, the moment that i load that file up the moment i grab it it's actually correct okay so let's have a look at our own website so we've got these few products up here that come from global crafts they have got important to note that they were imported by their uh, through that file but the only thing that really matters is the SKU code. The SKU code is exactly the same as the SKU code in their file. If the SKU code was not exactly the same, we would have a problem. This would not work. You cannot change the SKU code on products. Okay, so let's have a quick look. We're gonna use the app called StockSync, which is what Global Crafts recommend. And if we go into it, I could actually, you know, I could almost cheat with this. Let me get rid of uh, a couple of these other ones that I've used before. Delete, delete delete so that we can start from the beginning okay so this is a clean it's still on a trial account um it's actually like five dollars once you get into manage billings and set it up um so let's set up a new feed i want to update products because the products already exist on the website all i'm looking to do is update the inventory so let's update products let's continue they've preset some of these so I didn't really need to grab that um, URL because I could just actually click on the create button here and it would essentially do it for me. Um, I want to show you how to do it just because what the hell, you know, this is a learning video. You might not be working with Global Crafts, right? So let's start new. Let's change it to a URL. Uh, let's paste in that URL that we just grabbed off them. It's a CSV file. The first row is indeed a header. I can test the connection, but I know because I've got the little check boxes that we are good. Um, and that will confirm that in a second. Connection successful. Let's go to next. The SKU is in column one. And if I add another column, the quantity is in column two. 
And then what I might want to do is I might want to hide and unhide products based on how many we have. So if I do published and then click more settings here, I can, uh, well, first of all, I'm going to publish it based on the quantity, right? So that's column two. And then I'm going to unpublish it if I have zero in stock, and I'm going to publish it if I have one in stock. Okay, let's go next. Not going to worry about anything here, and I'm just going to click done. Now, what I can do, um, if I go back to my, that, that is now done. Let's go here. I can either run it manually, or I can set it for a schedule. So let's just look at scheduling. I can schedule this thing um, hourly, and I think I can only do 24 hours on the trial account, but let's try 12. Yeah, it'll only let me do 24. Once I buy an account, it'll let me run it more often. And it depends on how much you're willing to pay as to how often you can run your files. I'm going to leave it on 24 hours there. Click OK. And I'm just going to start this process just so that it runs. Uh, depending on how busy StockSync is, this will take, um, well, the file that we're actually syncing with has three or 4,000 items in it. Even though we only have 17 of them in our, uh, our website, it's still got to go through the 17,000 items. So this could take a while. Okay, um, and it's still queuing at the moment. But what's going to happen as this runs, and it doesn't matter, just to put it into context, it doesn't matter that we've only got 17 of the 3,000 items in there because at the end of the day, um, if they don't exist, um, they're just going to be ignored, right? So it's only going to modify the 17 items that the, where the skew count matches column one in the spreadsheet. So as this runs, it's going to change our inventory, and it's going to do that once a day based on the 24-hour limit that we have. Um, it's going to be hard for me to show you that happen. Oh, it's actually already done it. Look, it's updated 17 of the products. I don't know whether we're going to be able to really see. Let's have a look at something that's big, like 353 there. I'm going to press F5 to refresh the screen and hope that that number changes. I have no idea what's in the product file. <laughs> 351 okay so there we go it has updated it it has changed it um and there we go so and you can test that by just looking at the activity here you can actually see the change log here it'll download a file for you you can open that file it'll take a second to open here we go and we can see that before and after quantities 353 has gone to 351 okay so you can do that with any um supplier uh, I just said I just demonstrated it with Global Crafts drop shipping, drop shipping by Global Crafts, but you can do it with any supplier so long as they can provide you with a URL to a CSV, a publicly available URL to a CSV file that has the SKU code and then the information you want, typically quantity. But you can obviously update other things with this. I just want to show you uh, a couple of other things. Um, if they can't give you um, a CSV file through a URL. There is a whole bunch of other ways. First of all, they could send you a file every day and you could run this manually. That's a pain in the butt, obviously. Um, you can do FTP. Um, you know, you could, if they put it on Dropbox or something, you can do various things. You can read it from a Google spreadsheet. If they give you access to it, they can put it on Dropbox. It, even a receive from email, they can send the file through an email to an address. There's a whole bunch of different ways that they can get the file to you here. It looks like you can actually connect to people's uh, online QuickBooks. Never never tried that, but that's interesting. So there's a whole bunch of ways you can do this. Um, you know, the way we do it with, well, the way Global Crafts uh, Dropshipping does it is through a CSV file held, is actually through a, a file that StockSync is actually automatically providing um, so that we know it's a live file and a real time file. Okay, so I hope that's useful. That's how you sync your inventory with your wholesale vendors. Um, the app we're using is StockSync. Don't forget to subscribe to this uh, channel and uh, we look forward to seeing you in other videos.